Hey guys, and welcome to Artificer with me, Time and Tactics. This game is in pre-early access, actually. I don't know exactly when it's going to come out, but the developer was nice enough to give me an advanced copy, so let's give it a shot. This game is uh, a survival crafting type game. Think uh, Don't Starve, and you get pretty close. There's no real menu right now. Let's make sure, yeah, brightness full, because there's a day-night cycle. I want to make sure we can see the screen. All right, so when the game starts now, we're going to jump right in, and basically we have just crashed on this planet, and we don't really know what to do. Holy cow, the shuttle is totaled. But don't panic. I can do this. Remember the training. Okay. Survive and signal for help. Well, we'll try. According to our last readings, the ship's comm module fell to the southwest of here. Let's remember that. That might be important to do uh, something about. You can see our ship right here, and that acts as a place where we can come back and we can build new things. We have two uh, options here. Down here we have a backpack. If you press E, that's empty right now, unfortunately. And then R is our, well, our tech tree, our research. Right now we uh, know of basic survival training, and we can actually take a look at that by selecting it basic survival training it is not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive but those who can best manage change hmm what can we do well we can create an axe an improvised axe a sharpened stone jammed in a branch it will take a while to cut a tree with this but significantly less if you than if you try to punch it down without it so we need what do we need two whalewood branches and three stones and then also a workbench and the ship will actually work as a workbench so that's not going to be a problem we can also create an improvised pick a primitive pick made of stone good for extracting clay and not much else will break fast when used on harder materials hmm. so three railwood branches in this case and three stones and also that workbench again we have another page here the research desk that sounds very uh, promising our personal re uh, science desk. A space for notes, writing implements, and experiments. Knowledge is power. And you can't do research without a proper desk. More of those branches. It's going to be important to get that right away, right? Five logs and three pieces of paper. And I think we actually have a few pieces of paper already. And then a basic workshop. We can create an actual workshop, not use the ship. If you want to move away from this spot, we might want to do that. Again, it takes the same kind of ingredients, uh, parts, to it stones logs and branches and then we do know about heat treatment we haven't really researched it yet but we can scribe it on a research scroll hmm let's wait with that though and take a look and see what we have it's gonna get dark here soon but I think we're okay for now we have a hot bar down here you can use the scroll wheel to go from one to the next you can also use hotkeys one two three four five you can just jump around and it looks like we have three pieces of paper here I mean not three 10 can't read and then to the left of that we have our health bar 10 out of 10 health and to the right I think it's the food bar I haven't gotten that far into the game but I think that looks like intestines right so that's our food bar and that's pretty much all we have right now and what do we need well we said the, the what was it called whalewood branches and logs and rocks and I see the rocks here let's go over to the rocks and to grab something you just click it or if you don't want to click on everything you can just hold down the space bar and it will go and jump around and get the closest item there on the ground and uh, we have a few things here I guess now I don't want to chop any trees so just pick up all the stone here so we have it and we can always put it in our backpack right and that would be the first ingredient you can see here we have 13 now and you control the guy here by using WASD so now we have 15 15 stone but to create the axe remember we need two railroad branches let's go over here to these trees and check them out and we can actually check them out by right clicking and holding down the right well the right mouse button examining and you examine the tree and named it whalewood that's the one we want we got six survival research points i'll show you what they're all about when we get to that let's go ahead and shake that tree a little bit well, there's a couple of branches three we need about five if you want to build that oh, that's kind of empty build that axe and the um the pick well we have six now let's go back here to our ship so if you want to get that axe to yeah let's create this one here craft and there it is let me take it and put it down here in spot number four if i press number four it's active 
And now I bet we can get some logs. Let's go over here and chop down this tree here. Uh oh. What's that sound? Oh, there's something there, a caterpillar. Now we gotta watch out here a little bit. They are going to be a problem. I think he kinda left. Let's see if we can grab these items before he comes back. Oh, there he is. Let's attack him. You can see the damage they're doing there. And it's green there. Shows we're being poisoned. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we're losing health here. Shoot. A centipede poison. So it's a centipede here. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and grab more. Hang on. Let me just turn off my phone there. There we go. All right, so we got a few logs there. Let's go ahead and check out and see. We have five logs now. Seven branches and a bunch of stone. And I think that means, can we create that research desk? We can, because we have 10 pieces of paper as well. Let's craft that, stick it in on a hot bar. And where do we put it? Well, I think we have to put it pretty close to here, right? Kind of makes sense. Let's do that. We'll just put it right out here. Now, um, now that we have a research bench, we can go back by pressing R and take a look at this one, heat treatment. Let's create a, um, a scroll for that. Okay, so there's a scroll. If I now open the research desk, you can see we have six survival points here, research points. We got those from, what was it, from uh, examining the tree? That's what we're going to use in order to research this here, the heat treatment. And it's a bunch of basically mini games. This one here is like memory, where you have to pick these matching images. And I only have six uh, shots to do it. I can get more points later, but I don't think I can do it. It's a little bit... No, let's wait. Let's wait. I need a few more than that, right? Now, remember our ship's call module fell to the southwest of here, was it? Let's go down that way. Hopefully we don't run into anything. There are monsters. There are, There's a lot to do in this game, actually. I think as you play the game, there's going to be more and more. It's not a small game. But it's easy to get started, which I do like. Let's just see if we can find... And I think we have a little bit of lag here because we have... Uh, it's loading part of the map, and I ah, there we go. See that? That is the COM module. Let's see what happens. Here it is. Hmm, no luck. It's probably broken, right? No. Uh -oh. Scratch that. Do not fear, Starman. My name is Astarte, and I am here to help you. Help me? Yes, you are an intruder on this world. Everything wants you dead. Okay, except you. I see an opportunity for both of us. None of your equipment will work here. Yeah? No science really here. This world is special, you see. There's a force here, the Eld. Your ancestors would call it magic. Okay, so we're going to do magic. Whoa, wait, magic. Yeah, we're going to do magic. There's no time to explain. You need to learn the art of alchemy. Okay, we're going to try. Then, when you feel strong... Go into the marshes. Kill the eye of the bog. Rip his heart out. Then we will talk more. Ugh. Okay, well, we'll see if we can do it. Take this, figure it out. Uh, what did we get? Equivalent exchange research unlocked. Hmm. And we also got a way not bound to the eye of the bog. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Let's go back to our home base, though, because I want to make sure I keep... I don't lose it, because... Right now, if I um, walk too far away, I don't have a workbench. And there's no map in this game, at least not yet. We'll see if there is a way to build one later on. There's that dead centipede. That's fine. We can actually research him. We can look look at him. Ah. Exo, uh, exopathology found. And we gained 10 survival research points. You know what? Now that we got 10, let's go back and see if we can figure out this other one the uh, heat treatment. Let's we'll see if we can do that. If I go back over here. Oh, I have something else here, but I have 16 points here that's going to be used. Heat treatment. Let's see if I can match it up. So it's a sun and a wave. A sun. I got that one. There we go. You can see I'm losing points here. A moon. Yep. A moon and a moon. Another moon. No. A planet. Not a wave. Oh, that's the wave up there. Okay. There was the moon. Okay. A wave. Was it here? No, it wasn't. It was there, wasn't it? No, that was a stone. The wave was here. I'm losing it here. 
Seven left, okay. Don't think I saw one. Okay, that was the planet down in the corner. Good, we got that. Four left. I should be able to do it, right? And there's the rock, yep. And a sun, and we got it just in time. Heat treatment research completed. Okay, good. Exopathology, though. I don't know if I saw that. If I go back into the research screen, I don't have any other options to select. Oh, wait a minute. I do have. Ah, alchemy here. Astrobiology over there. And then survival here. So we got a couple of survival points, and uh, that made, us, made it possible to find out about heat treatment. So any problem can be solved with the proper application of high explosives. With the help of your chemistry knowledge and some experimentation, you've managed to tap deeper into the transformative capabilities of flames by controlling the temperature and the amount of oxygen. You can create charcoal from wood. Well, that's good. And glass from sand. You feel as though you're entering your own personal Bronze Age. The opportunities multiply. You just can't wait to experiment with the local ores, herbs, and minerals. Yeah, I can't wait, actually. It's pretty, pretty cool. What can we do now that we know about this? We can create a kiln, a rudimentary clay furnace for hardening, drying, and melting materials. Take stone. We have a few of those. Takes clay. Hmm. And we have wood logs. And then a workbench. To create glass, though, we need sand and a kiln. So we need that first. Okay, got it. Paper. Paper seems important for further research, right? And we need muscane pulp and a kiln. Then charcoal made from whale wood. Burns longer and has higher temperature than wood. Need whale wood log and a kiln. Now that's interesting, right? And then a glass flask. A simple glass flask for potions and elixirs. Need glass and a workbench. Charcoal torch. Oh, great. That's good. A piece of charcoal bound to a branch with sticky weeping agaric secretion can be used to set enemies ablaze. See, the game is pretty cool, right? A branch. Charcoal, weeping, agaric, and a workbench. Standing torch. Uh, you take a regular torch and a log and use a workbench. You can put that up. You probably see better, right? Fireplace for warmth and cooking. Probably need charcoal for that, right? Hmm, to use it, actually. So we have a few things we can do now. Hmm, what do we need? Well, I think I should go exploring a little bit. But I am worried about how to go about getting... Uh, Finding my way back. What about this one here? Alchemy. Equivalent exchange. And then here, astrobiology. Exopathology. Well, I can't research it yet, right? I might as well use my paper to create a couple of those. I can put that in my backpack, can't I? Put it right here. But I don't have enough points. I have 12 here, and I have zero of the... What was this? Astrobiology? No, not astrobiology. If I press R, I go back in here. This is alchemy. Yeah, that's astrobiology. Alchemy is for equivalent exchange. Hmm. Conservation. All right. Well, we should explore a little bit more, I think, right? Let's keep this axe. But you know what? Should I make another pick? I'm thinking if I run into rock or something else, I need to get that taken care of. Basic workshop, glass flask. See here where I can build now? A torch. I want to make a pick. Do I have it? I do have it. I'm going to craft a pick. There we go. Now, i got to be careful here, though. Let's move. Should we move north? Well, we'll check out these here. What are these? Right-click. Examining. we got survival research points. Herb lore unlocked. How much do we have now? Hmm. I have 17. Herb lore. You know what? My backpack says what? Exopathology. Equivalent exchange. None of those are... In the survival group of things, right? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Herb lore. Let's create that one, too. How much paper do I have? Three left. Ooh, not good. Uh, we'll go back in here. If I do this now... Remember that minigame I had to play in memory? Now, it's a different one here. Now, I played this one before. It's a little bit different. So, you have these symbols down here, a pot. And you want to make sure that you cook it up kind of to this bar here. And they will all raise and lower the bar here a different amount. I have 17 shots to do it. I think I can do it. Let's see, if I press that one and drag it over here, it goes up this much. So every time I put a skull in there, it goes up a little bit more. What if I put that in there? Might be all I need to do. No, it's too high. 
Okay, what if I put put that moon there? It goes down. And I'll play around a little bit here. That one goes up. Now if I take the moon. No, and now I take the skull. Now too high. Nine left. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. And that brings it down all the way to the bottom. Okay, this one brought it up, right? Yeah, it does. If I bring up the skull. Yes, I got it. Herbal research complete. So we should check that out right away, right? By pressing R. And that was here. Nope, that was here. Herb lore. What do we get? When you smoke the herb, it reveals you to yourself. To yourself. Without the advanced molecular facilities to produce medicine, you've turned your attention to the local flora. That's good. I want medicine here. By performing several basic experiments, you've discovered many useful properties of nearby uh, found herbs and plants. Okay, that's great news. Um, what do we have? A few species. Uh, dotted algae has antiseptic properties, making it an excellent candidate for a wound-binding agent. Weeping agarics become fluorescent when rubbed, mm -hmm. providing means to mark the way and navigate in darkness. And then a crude mortar and pestle. Okay, let's check it out. Algae bandage. Now, nah, I want this. This will be good. Dry dotted algae plant matter. Turns out to be great antiseptic and can be formed into bandages with muscaine pulp. Muscaine pulp. Okay. And then a workbench there. Stone mortar and pestle. So we need that pulp. You know what? That mortar and pestle is going to make it possible for us to make this stuff, right? A crude stone device used to crush rocks into powder and plants into pulp. We need the more of those branches, the stone and the log. That's going to be a good one to do. We can do that here if I have enough stone left. A trail marker. Piece of wood. A piece of wood with weeping agarics fluorescent secretion. Yeah, there's that one. And then we can uh, put it down on the ground, I guess, and rub it to make it glow in the dark. Muscain pulp. Ah, that's what we want for the bandage, right? Yeah, it is. Made from muscain. And you take that, put that in the uh, mortar and pestle. And then finally, bubble muffin pulp. Hmm, I wonder what we use that for. Is that maybe food? Could be. Maybe. So I do want to probably start working on that. But let's go and collect a few more things. Uh, how much do I have in my research points here? Six. Hmm. Yeah, not much. Let's go up here and see what we can find. I think I can collect this one, probably. There we go. And this was what? Dotted algae. And that was something we could actually uh, create, right? Dotted algae was needed for the bandage. Now we find muskin pulp and put that in our mortar and pestle. Uh, we find musky, muskane, make the pulp. Then we can make bandages, and that probably is going to be really helpful to survive, right? We'll, we'll collect a few of these, though. Let's do that. I don't want to go too far. There's a lot of scary things here, I think, on this planet, and there's a lot of things you can do. Um, what do I have in my backpack? Pressing E. Nothing there. I have those, too. I could do more research. I need to get... Um, I need to get to find out more science there, experience. So let's go. just go straight north, maybe. What do I need, by the way, for the marker? What's this one right here? Yeah, trail marker. I need weeping agaric and whalewood log. And the logs I can get easy enough, but weeping agaric is a small little plant, it looks like. If I go north here, there's one here. Let's go ahead and research this one. or examine it. A sharp-edged plant. I named it snakeweed. And we gained... Uh, what did we gain? Well, six survival research points. And we found out about uh, snakeweed, uh, snakeweed uh, bending. Hmm. Do I want to put that on a scroll? I have three pieces of paper left. I already did a couple. I guess I better do it, right? Yeah. Well, let's wait till we collect a few more things. So I could try to take this one here and I'll do it. Ah, we cut our hands while gathering this plant. Yeah, we took a bit of damage there. We now have uh, barely eight, not quite eight in health. There's something up here to a green plant. What is this about? Uh, the fern-like plant is called snail horn. But five survival uh, research points. Good. There's an animal up here. Can we can we find out about what that is? I would like to. He's fast. Ah, that's gonna be tough. Ah, I got him. We gained twelve survival research points. And it's a pick or a pig. Pick, I guess. Let's go down here to uh, this one and collect it. Well, I can't collect it. Maybe I need a different tool. It's possible. Let's look at this one here. 
Bubble muff. Ah, bubble muff. Remember that? If I have mortar and pestle, I can make it like a pulp out of it. Maybe that's food. I don't know. Can I grab one? I need a knife to harvest that. Okay. That's interesting. What do I have so far? Nine dotted algae. One snake wood. Hmm. We have to see what we can do. Can I go up here? There's something else up here. I see. I don't think I know what this is. And that is red twig. Gain five points. I can't get it. I may need something else. Maybe. I'll go a little bit further up here. And then... Uh, oh, there's another one here. Let's look at this one. That is laminar. And we can grab that. Let's grab a few of those. And here's more of this uh, algae. Oh, wait a minute. There's that centipede. Do I want to attack him? I don't think I gain anything from it at this point. What are these here? Vision moral. Okay, we'll take... <clears throat> no, I can't. Need a knife. I'd say we go back down. Let's go back down and make sure we find our spot. So I want to do... Probably get the markers when I can. <clears throat> Maybe I need to try to kill one of those as well. We'll try to build those uh, trail markers. Oh, there's a stump there. Might be something I want to check out. And here we are. Okay, back home. But I'm going to leave it here for now. I'll be back next time. We'll continue the game then, guys. If you like it, give me a like or uh, let me know what you think of the game. Bye.